This is an... I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. For God's sake, Dorothy, it's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? Listen very carefully, Dorothy. You will erase from your memory everything you pretend to know about Lady Ashbury and Pembroke Hospital. Let that rich bitch off the hook over my dead Nurse body. Nurse Crane, enough. Listen as if your life depended on every word. I know you have a generous heart who gives freely to those in need, but you shall walk away from the shadier streets of your business. I will never abandon- Dorothy, the discussion has come to a close. Your clandestine activities in the Resistance are over. Let it go. I'll... I'll let it go. Yes. All gone. It's locked, all right. you have the money. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Kill it, boy! Ha! <laughs> 
I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. What prevails in the end, I wonder? The desire for blood, or to be of service to man? Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. We are vampires. We live by leeching the blood from weaker prey. We are Darwin's next chapter. His cynical and perhaps ultimate expression. The situation is somewhat awkward nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. The case is closed, your ladyship. The person who took advantage of you has, shall we say, seen the error of her ways. So who was it? My lady. The blackmailer was dealt with using the utmost discretion. The culprit's identity is of no relevance. Thank you, Jonathan. That is exactly what I needed from you. You have proven your loyalty, so, as a friend, please accept this small token of my appreciation. Thank you, my lady. If you have an inclination to learn more about vampires or your current situation, I will be glad to aid you in your quest for knowledge. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. 
No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No, you are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake? I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me, how is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. When I awoke, changed. I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewin. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society. And like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. Once glorious, but still dangerous. They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel to let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. 
There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this fawn. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter skull. What type of vampire is a skull? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, Skulls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now, and 27 I shall remain. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. A lady has to have some secrets. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? My maker. He left this isle a long time ago. I bid you farewell. For now, my lady. I must quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it.
Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation. Once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is spreading and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I admit it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us, I swear. <laughs>